size 11, 12, and 13 boots are extremely hard to find. And I'm here to help you with that struggle. One of the questions that I get from a lot of tall women is how do I find boots that fit my feet as far as size and even width? For me, as a woman who wears a size 11 and 12 and sometimes a 13, Jimmy Choo, I've come to terms with knowing that I have to do research before I go ahead and just dive into buying boots for the fall or winter. So in this video, I wanted to share some of my boot recommendations that you ladies should look into for this fall and winter. It's your girl Coco, welcome back to my channel. On this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So I'm gonna share the boot recommendations that I think you guys should look into having. First, we're gonna get into knee boots. Knee boots are a necessity for us ladies. Okay, if you are a girly who's six feet tall, knee boots do look a little strange on us, but we can still definitely get away with it. The first pair of boots are by Mark Fisher. So Mark Fisher has two different brands of boots. When you look at the website, you're gonna see Mark Fisher and then you're gonna see Mark Fisher LTD. Those are the boots that literally are the better version in my opinion, because I have quite a few pair. I'll show you guys a picture. So I have two pair of those boots in my home. The suede on those boots are actually Braille suede. A lot of designers are skimming on the quality guys. So when you are looking for something, regardless of if it's a high-end brand or a lower-end brand, you wanna make sure that you're reading those details and that it is a true suede. So the Lorita Black Hill boot are a simple black suede boot. I chose the suede because they look a little bit more chic in my opinion. When it comes to the leather and some of the brands, they don't use 100% leather. So I would recommend going for something that is suede when it comes to shopping at Mark Fisher. These are kind of like giving me Givenchy Shark, like the short version. <laughs> so if you don't want to spend $15 to $2,000 on a pair of boots, definitely check these out. They do go up to a size 12, but as of today, the 12 is gone guys. It's gone. So if you wear a size 11, definitely check these out. They have them in black suede. They have them in like a tan color suede. And they also have them in a black leather. I would recommend getting these in suede. The leather doesn't look bad, but if you did decide to order them, make sure you're looking at all the crevices on the boot. You don't wanna buy something and you get it home and you're not happy with it. But check out these Mark Fisher Lorita Black Hill boots for this fall. If you are a girly who loves just boots in general, I'm not gonna lie, I would definitely get them. I'm probably gonna get them anyway because they're lower than the ones that I have, but they do go up to a size 12 ladies if that is your foot size. So the second boot is from a brand called Stod. I found out about Stod some years ago and I absolutely love the brand. I recently purchased their cami boots in a red color love 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 these boots i have two the red ones are top notch if you are looking for something that is a nice medium heel that is a point it's not super pointy it has like a little bit of a square tip comfortable on i did size up in these boots guys i got them in a 12 okay and the reason why i got them in a 12 is solely because i have wider feet and my instep is high if you have more of a narrow foot you can likely stick to your true to size. So the Stod Cami Boots in red are another pair of boots that I recommend you looking into. I have other colors, so if you wanna get two pair, definitely go for the black pair or any of the leather versions. They also have a shorter version of these boots, meaning like the heel height, it's called the Wally Boot. Those are cute if you don't want anything high, if you wanna wear like a pair of jeans and just want like a really small heel, go for the ones that are leather, you will not be disappointed. All right, let's get into ankle boots, guys. Now, Cult Gaia does have a ton of unique boots. If you are a girly who has a normal size, 11, 12 foot, definitely check them out. Now, I have a wider foot and I have not tried Cult Gaia yet, so these, again, are recommendations for the girlies who can. <laughs> the Danu Boots by Colt Gaia. Listen, if you are a girl who likes wood heels, okay, I still like wood heels, and the reason why I love these is because it's giving me, like, old, like, vintage wood as opposed to some of the wood that a lot of the other designers are using. They're a booty. They're really cute. They go up to a size 12 which is super amazing. I did not know that. I thought they only went up to a size 11, but they do go up to a size 12, which is 
absolutely amazing for my big foot girl. Don't sleep on Coat Gaia when you guys are looking for boots. So these boots are pretty like light camel color and the wood heel definitely adds a little bit of zhuzh to it. So if you are looking for something that does have like a different style of heel and you don't really want to wear like a stiletto, definitely go for these. They're kind of like a clog heel in my opinion. Now, if you don't like wood heels, it may not be for you, but if you do, definitely check them out. Another pair of boots from Coat Guy is the Dita boot. And the reason why I chose these boots, even though the heel is kind of high and some of my tall ladies do not want to wear heels, um, but I chose these because they're more on trend as far as the color. So they're metallic color, silver metallic leather really cute i think the heel is high enough but not it's not really a stiletto when you actually turn the boot to the side it's more of a chunky slim heel i don't even know if that makes sense but it's not a stiletto heel it has like a slight little square tip really nice and as far as i can see the top of the boot will fit your leg pretty nicely so when you are looking for something that is a booty and you have really small ankles ladies it sucks but try to get something that is going to squeeze your legs so it doesn't look awkward when you're wearing them so check out the drita boots by coat gaia these also come in a size 42 and they are still available so if you are interested in those definitely check those out i am going to link everything in the description box for you ladies in order as i am doing them in the video so to make it a little bit easier for you and i'm also going to break it down by knee boots ankle boots and all that good stuff now the next boot is a little sketchy for for some um, but I actually think they're really cute. The heel is a ball heel, which is a little bit different from what I've been seeing at a lot of these retailers. And Colt Gaia does a really good job with unique heels. And these Mari boots are no different. So they're not a really pointy boot. So it does have like a rounded point. So if that's not your style, definitely pass on this. But they're really nice. They do go up to a 42, but right now what's available is the size 11. I do know in Miami, they have an actual store. So if you are in Miami, definitely go check these cute little booties out if you're into booties. Last pair of booties in this section is the Colt Gaia Livy boots. These are super cute. Now it does have that Fendi, you know how Fendi has those boots where the F is at the back, but it's like cut off a bit. These are giving me that vibe a little bit, but these are a wood heel with a really nice ivory color. These are really, really cute guys. They also go up to a 42, but they only have a 41 right now. So if that is your size, definitely go check them out. So as I am getting this video together, these items are available in either a 41 or a 42 the day that I am doing this video. So let's have our fingers crossed that they'll be available when the video goes up. So these are something that I would wear with like a cute little pleated skirt, especially for the girls who have really nice legs. Girls, if you have nice legs and calves, these are the boot for you. So I added these to the list because they're lighter in color. So I think that every woman should have some sort of a light boot in their closet. If it's not white, definitely go for something more on the ivory side or the cream side. So the Libby boots by Coat Gaia, I absolutely love. If these are your type of boot, comment below. If not, tell me why. So if you guys stay to this part of the video, make sure you are liking the video. Let's get into statement boots. Statement boots are those boots that can make any outfit pop. Meaning if you had on something that is a plain monochrome outfit and your boots are red or a plain monochrome outfit and your boots have a little bit of like a floral design. Now these are not necessarily a dressy boot, but ladies, if you do not have a pair of the Lorette Platform Desert Boots by Louis Vuitton, Ooh, these came out many, many years ago and I absolutely loved them and I never got a chance to like even try them on because they were like sold out. So they came back in stock and they have a ton of new colors. These boots actually go up to a size 41, so definitely check them out. Now, if you have a narrow foot, these are going to be the boots for you. If you do not, they may not. From research that I have done, a lot of the girls are saying to size up. 
but I really think it just depends on your foot to be quite honest because I'm hearing mixed things from many different people so the khaki color is really nice the black color is also really nice so if you want something a little bit more subtle definitely go for these two colors as opposed to the ones that have the LV logo all over it now let's get into some chunky boots guys for the ladies who think that they do not need a chunky boot you do all women need a chunky boot I don't care those days when you just want to run around with your kids or go to the mall but still look put together definitely go for a chunky boot now there's a ton of boots out there so you don't have to go and buy the Prada boots you can definitely check out Zara which leads me to these Zara chunky boots These are just called the lace-up platform boot now Zara goes up to a size 11 you guys already know you can go into Zara try on the shoes they're sitting at the bottom for you <laughs> but if you want you can just order them so they go up to a 41 as far as sizing, it does say true to size. So anything that says true to size, in my head, I'm thinking this is gonna fit someone with an average size 11 foot. If it does not, that means that it does not fit true to size. <laughs> so these are very affordable. I think they're really nice and simple for a nice chunky boot. It says leather. So if you have the opportunity to go into Zara and see them, definitely check them out, examine the boot, make sure it doesn't look cheap in certain areas before you purchase. So a chunky boot is something that you definitely need in your wardrobe this fall and winter. Another pair of chunky boots is the Gia Pernil boots. Listen, you guys already know I have these boots. I've worn them a ton of times. <laughs> They're very heavy. And I don't know if I've said this before, but my issue with, well, it wasn't even an issue. My concern was, was I going to be able to feel the pedal? Like in my head, I need to feel like the vibration of the pedal. But to my surprise, I was 100% fine, but they are a heavier boot. So if you're not a girl who likes heavy boots, honestly, if you've ever worn Timberlands before, child, they heavy like Timberlands, <laughs> but they're so cute. Now her boots do run I don't want to say they mm, maybe they run small I got a size 11 but th they're just a heavy boot so maybe they run true to size for a girl with like a narrow foot maybe they'll be big on her but they fit me just fine so if you are interested in something like this definitely check them out as far as the sizing most of the websites they're saying that they're like sold out in a size 41 but there's one particular site that has them in a 41 and I am gonna link that below for you ladies so check them out just do some research I always tell you ladies if you are looking for anything online do a Google search honey because a lot of these designers and these, these stores these little boutiques and stuff they all have different prices depending on what sizes they have left so you may get lucky and find a size 41 for like 260 bucks guys <laughs> so definitely do that google search those are some of the boots that i would recommend you guys looking into this fall if you are starting a boot collection and you don't know where to start start with some basic boots and basic colors get something that's actually going to go with the majority of your clothes for me it'll be something that's a light cream color or an ivory color brown i'll definitely do black red is another one of my favorite colors Olive green is another one of my favorite colors. <laughs> you don't want to get something that's not going to go with the majority of your wardrobe. Get to the point when you have built your entire boot collection, definitely go for those statement of boots, ladies. I'm going to link the majority of the stuff in this video that I spoke about. And I'm going to try to find some alternatives if I can, if the size is not available. If not, I'll just have those below. And I'm also going to link some of my blog posts so you guys can check that out. I do want you ladies to start getting into your wardrobes and your closets and just like making them pretty and just making them a place where you want to actually go and get dressed. <laughs> I'm also going to link some of my style guides for you ladies to take a look at. They're very affordable and they are to do downloads so they'll be at your fingertips in seconds. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you stay to the end of this video please comment Coco we see you and guys don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog Coco Styles NYC and my style services Coco Styles NY.com and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.